Hi darlings, I know it's been a long time since I posted and I'm sorry, but I'm back in full swing. And today I am going to be showing you guys how to install your lace front wigs. My hair is from Hair Weave Masters, which is one of my favorite wig brands. I buy most of my wigs from them. As you can see, it's a full frontal. Um, so usually I would have on a nude wig cap, but one of my girls lost it, the joys of motherhood. So I'm using my black one and I've already prepped and applied some foundation powder on the front to help with the blending. I'm going to repeat this process of applying foundation powder, but only this time onto the wig frontal. Just as a rule of thumb, I think you should make sure that the foundation powder is the one that matches the one you would apply onto your face, just for blending purposes. Just for reinforcement, I used some of my concealer residue from my makeup sesh earlier onto my beauty blender and worked that onto the lace. Just a bit of powder again. Now that you're finished, you can prep for installation. I usually just plug some of the hairs using my fingernails, but tweezers are the preferable tool. Once you're good with the plugging, get your installation tools and products ready. stylist mousse for all my colors. I also use got to be hairspray glue as well as the got to be styling gel both for the installation part. Some plain water spray an edges brush and lastly small scissors to cut the lace front off. Another one, a wide tooth comb for the curls, but I still prefer to use my fingers. I'm gonna spray a bit of got to be hairspray for my natural hair edges just to behave a bit and hair dry it, and then put on the wig. Put it to where you'd ideally like it to sit. Once I've placed it, I use my hair clips to hold the rest of the hair back so that I can start applying the glue. Okay, fold back the lace and start applying the black got to be styling gel using the tip of the edges brush or the back of a comb. I just think it's less messy than using your fingers. Hair 
try it slightly until the glue feels tacky once it's sticky pull the lace front onto it and then using the hairdryer again and the tip of the edges brush start pressing it down Once you're sure it feels secure enough, use the got to be hairspray glue to push some of the hair in front back away from the lace. This is just to avoid accidentally cutting some of those hairs in front when you're cutting the lace. Then just a bit of heat so they behave. Once that's done, it's time to cut off the lace. Now I start in the middle where you would probably do a mid parting. I start cutting zigzag. This helps the lace not frail over time and also makes the hairline look just a little bit more natural. To the other side as well. Okay, done. Now, if there's some glue residue, don't worry, just wipe some of it off using a wet wipe and start pulling some of the hairs out these you will basically create your edges slash baby hairs with using some of your clips again push the rest of the hair back so it doesn't accidentally get uh, cut or glued as you create your edges Using the got to be styling gel, this time I apply some of it onto the back of my hand and dab the edges brush onto it. This way an even amount of the gel spreads through the brush and then I start laying my edges with it. Now you can either put on a small scarf onto the edges to make sure they are laid, but um, I prefer a hair dryer so that's what I used. Shoo, now that's done, I'm gonna apply some of the mousse onto the hairs that are in front, just a little bit so they be Remove the clips and part the wig to your preferred side. Wasting all your time. I've given all that I've wet the hair slightly using that spray of water and I mean I decided not to use the comb because like I said I still do prefer my fingers especially for these types of curls but just wet it all over. 
Then use the mousse to emphasize the curls and don't be shy with the mousse curls. Just put it on. Repeat again all over their hair and then boom, done. Thank you guys for watching. I really do hope that this was helpful. Um, please do like and comment with your experiences and I promise uh, I'll be a little bit more consistent. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Walking by your side.